Hey everybody, how you doing? Well, you know, lately I've been having a lot of fun doing these list things. And I do them in fives, maybe I do them in fours, and and always everybody so, sometimes comes up with something that goes, you know, something this would have good. I go, yeah, you know, but I only made it five, I should have made it ten. Well, this time we decided to do a top ten list. Now, what's the subject? It's something that is personal to me, because I love miniature games. But... Here are the top 10 IPs that I would like to see as a miniature game. Not a board game, miniature game. you got to keep this in mind, okay? So somebody coming up with the rules, all the figures, all the cool stuff, and then we building the scenery around it. Now that, I think, would be pretty cool. So, without further ado, here's my top 10. At number 10, Pacific Rim. Now, the Fen Neo Tokyo is the closest thing that I played that I would think would have Pacific Rim. It's a board game. I really like what they did with it. I would love to see a miniature game with this or miniatures added to that board game to really make it, make it great. Or somebody to come out with Pacific Rim. They're coming out with a second movie. Come out with a miniature game. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, could it be done? Yeah, can You know, would it have a lukewarm response? Do I think it'll ever happen? No. Because I just don't think it has that popularity. But it's something I would like to see. At number nine. Okay. They already have Friday the 13th board game. But what about a Freddy versus Jason miniature game where you have the campers and you have the police. Then you have Freddy and, and, and Jason. And maybe there's different missions where they've got to kill so many campers that somebody plays. One person plays Freddy, one plays, plays Jason. And whoever kills the most campers. And if the campers happen to trap him or something like that. You know, it, 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 it could be like a four-way. You can have four people play this game very easily. And, and have a bunch of really cool rules where it's really kind of fun. I would like to see that. I really would. Or maybe it's just one-on-one. -on -one, one person's decides who they want to be whether freddy or jason and just try to kill as many campers as they can before turn eight or something like that that's a pretty good idea some of them have you know like powers like hidden or or invisible i don't know you you can make it up i'm not the one that makes the games number eight i would love to see a dirty hairy miniature game okay cops versus a bunch of dirt bad guys now listen a lot of this stuff that's on this list you could probably make shift and stuff like that but to have the ip come out with a box set where i can just go to the store and go okay i'll take that and have all the rules and have harry callahan running around with his 44 magnum trying to stop bank robberies and all this other stuff maybe they get the upper hand on some of his partners Maybe Harry gets mortally wounded or something like that. There's so many different things that you can do with it. I think it'd be a lot of fun. And number seven. This game is, is something that I would really like to see because there's just so many things that you can do with it. And a 3D version of this would just be phenomenal. And it's the great escape. You know, with, with Steve McQueen and, and Jim Brown, and, you know. Jim Brown, I mean, come on. You know, trying to escape from the prison camp. I mean, that's really some cool stuff. You can do different things, have different scenarios, have the heroes maybe even escape, and maybe have to break in and break out some more friends or something. You know, just there, there's so many different things. You know, even though you have escape from cold, it's, I would like to see this as a miniature game. I think it would be a lot of fun and would be something that would be very, very enjoyable. At number six, even though there are a ton of apocalyptic games, I want my Mad Max game. I want my Mad Max game. I want, I want the Thunderdome. I want it all. I want to put it in a box. I want a bow on it. Give me the Mad Max game. Come on now. That would be cool. At number five, yeah, you could probably do this by just going again, getting a bunch of cowboys, but... First of all, 
Clint Eastwood spaghetti western movies. Can you imagine doing, you know, with all the characters from The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, Pale Rider, all those really good different types of characters and expansions, which would be part of the movies, you know, maybe there's the good and bad, bad and the ugly box set. Then there's the Outlaw Josie Wales expansion set. Then there's, um, jeez, I, I mean, you could just go on and on and on with, with, with all the different, an Unforgiven expansion set. All these things with all different kinds of variables and, and great rules and a great, you know, different towns and, whew, boy, that would be really cool because you've got to have, you know, the Clint Eastwood character and you've got to overpower him, of course. He's got to be OP. At number four, and yes, this list does get better. <laughs> At number four is one that I really think would be really great, and that is a Flash Gordon. And I mean the 1980s movies, mo movie. Okay, can you imagine all that in the spaceships and Ming and and uh, the Hawk guys and and uh, come on. That would be pretty cool. And the great rule set and different types of scenarios and fighting on different planets and main invading the castle. I mean, come on, that'd be cool. And then maybe as an expansion, you can add in the 1950s or 40s and 30s. That would be pretty cool, to be honest with you. This next one, I really, really, really think would be a home run. And that, even though they came out with the game, which is coming soon, and I, I'm, I can't wait to show you guys, Planet of the Apes, that whole series. Can you imagine having all the, the, the apes on horseback, General Ursus, and, and, and Cornelius, and, and, and Taylor, and the humans, and, and then you bring it into the next one, Escape from the Planet of the Apes, where where everything's kind of conquest and I mean there's a lot you can do with that IP and, and a miniature game I mean come on I mean that's cool and number two this really should be my number one but I, I just I don't know I just thought the other the one that at number one would really fit better in that position and and I think it'd be more favorable to everybody but I was really torn with this just it was just a matter of closing my eyes and picking one to be honest with you and that's the Toho movies any Godzilla movie anything in a rubber suit come on you could you can have the armies the Air Force the the monsters we have buildings somebody needs to come up with a great rule set okay um, by the IP um, a matter of fact I was at origins and i saw somebody had a rule set for it and i was like oh i want and i kind of went oh, no i want i want all the models with it i want all the army stuff with it i want all the, 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 the you know the japanese toy tanks and stepping on them and blowing them up and i want and i want monsters fighting monsters and rolling around and and Goris and and, and ghidra and and uh, Ghidorah and, and and Godzilla and and Rodan, I want it all. I mean, I would lose I would lose my mind with that Monster X. I want him in there. Get him in there. Frankenstein, even get him in there. Come on, Monster Island. Can you imagine that brawls on Monster Island? Godzilla versus the sea monster, the smog monster, Megalon. That would be, that would be something. But is there an audience for it? Probably, most of these, are there an audience for it? Probably not. Number one, I do think there's an audience. I don't know if one's ever been made, but I would like to see something in a good 20 mil of G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, I think, would be superb. Yes, they came out with the action figures, but I'm talking models, 20 mil, armies, Cobra, Cobra Commander, Snake Eyes. Imagine painting those guys up. I mean, come on. That would be really pretty cool in my eyes, at least. 
and having a cool rule set, having to like a having to invade an island and 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 destroy like one of their death rays that are going to destroy the United States or Europe or something like that. I mean, come on. There are just so many things in scenario books and expansions and 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 weapons and this and that. I mean, it's a home run. I don't know how you this this hasn't been done yet. But uh maybe it's something I missed. Could be. But uh, I would really like to see a really good box set of this. Not a role-playing game, not a board game, a miniature game. And that's what this whole list is. Solid, just miniature games. Build the terrain. Use your imagination. Toy soldiers all over the place. Let's do it. So, as always, do you agree with this list? Did I leave some things off? Were there things that you think that you could do better that you can put on this list? Or on that canvas? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. The comments below, folks. The comments below. Leave your comments. Let me know what your thoughts. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Let me know if you just think I'm out of my mind. I know I'll get a bunch of those. I'm out of my mind. There you have it another list until next time it's your old pal rob we'll see you soon